Another group that works to help veterans is in turmoil. The founder of Troop Town Villages suddenly stepped down, leaving other people scrambling to keep the organization together. News Channel 15's Kelly Roberts joins us with what the organization needs to keep going. Troops Town Villages wants to build 50 tiny homes in Fort Wayne to house homeless veterans. The group's Facebook page says the idea came from a tiny village built in Kansas City. But now the founder stepped away from the group, leaving others desperately searching for a new director for it to survive. All of the text messages I have and the, and the Facebook messages are, Jim, you need to do this, you're the guy, I knew it from the day I met you. And, and I've got to tell you, Kelly, I, I'm not the guy. Jim Garrigan first met Matt Maple when he heard about Maple's project, Troop Town Villages. Garrigan has experience working to find solutions for homeless veterans and liked Maple's idea, but never became associated with TTV. In mid-July, someone asked Garrigan to talk to Maple about the future of the project. So I was just trying to advise him and help him make that transition because he said he's not the guy, he needed to step down, and he asked my advice. Instead, Garrigan says Maple has canceled two meetings to talk about transferring the organization's records so another director can come in and continue the work. But Garrigan doesn't want to be that director and has called for help on Facebook. This isn't about improprieties or anything along those lines. It's just accountability and where does this go forward? We tried calling Maple several times today, but no one answered and no one returned our messages. Keep from Matt Maple with Troop Town Villages. Garrigan says TTV never became a 501c3 nonprofit or a tax exempt organization due to some legal mistakes filing papers. He believes there hasn't been any misuse of the funds. There's a lot of folks who donated, a lot of folks who want to see their dollars put to the work that they intended, and we just need to get a message to them that somebody's going to see this move forward. If you're interested in helping Troop Town Villages, contact them via Facebook. We have a link to that right now on Wayne.com. Kelly Roberts, News Channel 15.